if you were running dedicated IPs for your email and autoresponders, I'm going to show you how in one place you can monitor them for being blacklisted and easily remove that IP from a blacklist. Watch the video and see how I do it. Hey guys, I'm Gordon McKinnon and on this channel I talk about affiliate marketing, mindset and my journey to becoming a six-figure earner. If you're new here and you've never seen my videos before, I urge you to subscribe to the channel because I'm always coming out with content on tips on how to do things, what works in affiliate marketing, what's not and of course mindset, where you need to be to succeed in affiliate marketing. Anyhow, today what I want to do is I want to show you a program which monitors IPs for blacklisting. Now this is really, really useful if you're into mass email marketing because it's very, very simple for an IP to be blacklisted these days and if you don't know that it's been blacklisted, You'll be sending emails out to people and wondering why they're not being opened and the reason is they've probably been blacklisted. So I'm going to jump onto my laptop, I'm going to show you a program that's 100% free and you're going to love it. Okay, so the website you want to go to, it's uh, Hetrix Tools and I'll leave a link below and I must tell you that it is an affiliate link but I'm not making any money from that affiliate link if you don't sign up to this. What I am going to get is what we call extra monitors and it will also mean that if you sign up through that link, you'll get extra monitors. And I'll talk about monitors a little later in the video so you know exactly what I mean and you understand it. But it's obviously beneficial for me and beneficial for you if you just sign up through the link that I provide in the description. So, here we are, Hetrix Tools, and this does a whole host of things which I've not even looked at. All I'm interested in is this free blacklist monitoring part. And if you click on here, you'll see that the products I have, it's free, um, it checks every 24 hours, and I have 48 monitors and 17 active monitors. That means I've got 17 IP addresses in. So basically this max monitors means how many things they'll monitor for you. So like I say, if you go through the link, you'll have 48 as well. And which means really that you're never gonna need to pay for this program unless you need your monitors to be quicker, which most people don't. So, uh, you can see here that I've got 11 of my 17 blacklisted. So, if I go to Manage Blacklist Monitors, it's going to bring a list of my IPs up and it shows you here the reports that uh, 2 out of 96 various programs that uh, check for spam have marked me as spam. Now the reason that I, that happened to me was because I sent to MSN and Hotmail email addresses and my URL that I was using on my virtual server was brand new and these are the mistakes you make in the beginning. Not everybody tells you these things and it's kind of trial and error but I've recently learned that if you buy a brand new domain name and then set all of this up with your, your, your virtual private servers and your virtual IP addresses and set your mailing software up and then send even 10 emails to a Hotmail address, you're going to be blacklisted instantly. The reason is that Hotmail, MSN, that whole group, they will blacklist emails from a brand new URL. So you need to let your URL mature a little bit. And I think 30 days is probably enough. And after then, you should be okay to start your IP warming process up. And if you don't know what an IP warming process is, then Google that or have a look on YouTube. There's quite a bit about that, but it's really important that you warm your IPs before you start sending emails to cold leads. 
Okay, so if we click on one of these that has been blacklisted, let's go this one. So IP173, if I click, you would click here, it will then show you who's blacklisted it. So these are all the different programs out there on the internet that are designed to look for spam or abuse or all that kind of thing to people's mailboxes. And this spam host one is notorious for making it difficult to get through to MSN Hotmail accounts. So as you can see, the advantage of this program is they have a delist link. So you don't have to search around on where to go or do all that faffing about to try and get delisted. You can just go straight to it here and delist. So if I click delist, it takes me to the, the, the company who are marking it as spam. And it shows me here that this is blacklisted. And that's the domain 173 that I just did. So what you would do is you click the link here and it kind of gives you explanations and different reasons why they would blacklist your IP. Uh, emails showing indications of unsolicited nature. Well, there's all sorts here, but this one here, other indicators of low reputation or abuse. Now, that's probably the one that's fired it. Low reputation is that my URL that it was coming from was just too new. It had no reputation at all. So what you would do is down here, it says request a delisting. So you just request a delisting. And then here, the IP address to be removed. At this point, you would need to go into your VPS, which is a virtual private server. And you can see my IPs here. And the one we said we were doing was 173, so I just copy that and paste it into there. And then the host name to put in here, go back to your server. The host name is the one alongside it, not this one, but this one here with M173. It would have your URL in it. So we copy that and we paste that in here and then you need to give them an email address because they're going to send you a link to verify now when you do this you can't do it with a free email so if you put a gmail or a hotmail or an aol it's not going to let you do that you must do a self-hosted email so i'm going to put my email in remembers it and you see what I mean by self-hosted that's mail at gordonmckinnon.co.uk rather than a gmail account click the capture traffic lights one two three good job I moved myself four is that it I hate these things verify verified and then click process so that then says you should receive an email shortly with a confirmation code please enter the code in the form below so let's just go and check my email and that's it there and there we go my friend Liam James <laughs> and this is the code you want here so you would copy the confirmation code copy close that just paste that in there oops wrong one <laughs> sorry paste that in there and go back and get your IP address again which was the 173 one copy that paste it in there click confirm and that's you done. Now that will clear and make that IP good again so that I can start getting mails through to people's mailboxes, but it's very easy to get it blacklisted again. And also, if you haven't resolved the problem, so if your 
doing dodgy emails which are really spammy or against the the the, the normal spam can rules and all that kind of thing you're just going to end up straight back on the blacklist so make sure that you're doing good emails to people and you understand why your IP was blacklisted in the first place. I know that mine was blacklisted because I posted too quickly with a fresh unseasoned URL and that was a mistake that I've learned from. But like I say for you guys, find out why you've been blacklisted but that will get you off the blacklist for your IPs. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Also leave a comment below if you've got any questions, want to talk to me or whatever. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.